The only reason that I come to work on Sunday. It's time for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning is Zach Traveled. He is the executive chef at Capiche Street Food Italiano. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good to have you. So obviously you guys do pizza, but we're going to talk about Absolutely. a pasta dish that you all have, right? Uh oh, Whoa. no. We had a little problem there, didn't <laughs> That's we? Okay. <laughs> It's live TV. We're gonna yep. we're gonna still make this work here. So what Absolutely. is the pasta exactly? So we have a little bit you of spaghettini might, pasta. You could probably pour that out yeah. and pour that in here. Absolutely. So we'll get rid of that oil. So spaghettini pasta. Spaghettini pasta. Yeah. So it's a, a mix between capellini okay. and angel hair. Get that out the way. All right. Wipe up this oil. That's okay. the thing about the restaurant business is uh, it if you mess stuff up, you gotta keep it going. Yeah, right? you do. All right. All okay, right. So, so we what's have in this pasta? So we have a little bit of olive oil, garlic. Uh, we're gonna take some uh, bacon that we rendered out at the restaurant. Okay. Gotta have garlic. We're gonna have a little bit of artichokes here. All right. Now this dish is called the meatballer because um, we obviously have meatballs in it, but we also, our meatballs are 90 mile meatballs. We call them that because we source everything from within 90 miles of the restaurant. Yeah, local, I love that. So our meatballs have some local um, local beef, veal, and pork. We okay. get our beef from Rosetta Farms in Baltimore County. Our veal is from Marcho Farms in Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. And then our um, pork is also from Wagon Wheel Ranch in Baltimore County as well. Okay, and talk about this conglomerate of peppers you just poured in there. Yeah, so we just, uh, that's pepperonata, so it's slow cooked peppers mm -hmm. um, with a little bit of onions and garlic. Okay, yummy, it smells so good. It's really, really good. And then we finish it with our special touch with a little bit of uh, balsamic at the end just to make it unique to us. Okay. Wow. Look at that. All right. So you've added the pasta. Added sauce the pasta. going in, which right. has the meatballs already down in there. Right? And yep. I, you something else I thought really cool. You said if, if folks don't want something done a certain really way, today, huh? <laughs> if they don't want something done a certain way, uh, they can change it up, right? Absolutely. So we can... We can do just about anything that you'd like. Okay. We're getting a little messy in the yes, kitchen. Yes, we here. are. <laughs> and uh, do they tend to kind of change it up? Or Absolutely. Go you with can what mix you it have. up any way you'd like. Um, we have over 50 ingredients fresh that we make daily. Okay. And, and you guys do street food, something a lot of Italian restaurants don't yeah, do, so right? Yeah, so we're the only probably restaurant in the area. We're just going to get rid of this in here so we can use this plate. Spoon that up. Okay. Um, and, and we're the only restaurant in the area that's actually doing like real Italian street, street food. food. Yeah, so like what? Give me an example. So we have piattas, which we'll do in our next segment, mm -hmm. um, which is almost like an Italian burrito, I would say. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to plate this dish. All right, we'll plate that up. Bring the ladies in. And of looks course, delicious. that looks delicious. Of course, if you'd like a copy of today's recipe, you can find it on our free WBAL TV oh mobile gosh, app. Thank you so great. much for making You're this. You're welcome. You're finishing it off with a little bit of cheese there oh, the and some part. oregano. Absolutely. And the next segment, I won't spill the oil over the place. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's it makes what it, happens makes in it the taste even you know? better Absolutely. when it's messy.